Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this video finds you. I hope you're having a rad time. I am the Figure Dude, and on today's custom figure review, as you can see, I'm going to take a look at my custom Elite Diamond Dallas page. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Welcome back, and like I said on today's figure review, I'm going to take a look at my custom Elite DDP, and obviously he is the jeans version, so we did get a basic of this. Um, the basic we got wasn't skinny jeans, they used like the Dean Ambrose, I don't even know what, what I don't know my basic molds very well, they used like baggy jeans, normal looking jeans, and while it was cool to get a DDP that had his jeans look, it didn't look great. So um, I thought, what the heck? I had some ideas in mind as far as what pieces to use. So I did take the um, head from that basic for this custom. But everything else, I think, was from an elite DDP that I had, um, which actually I'll talk a little bit about when we do some comparisons. But anyway, the upper arms of my DDP are from an Elite, and I wanted the black tape, so I just took some extra forearms that I had, I swapped those out with some that had some black tape, and then I gave him some Triple H hands. So that's where he gets the black tape and everything from. The head, like I said, get him a little closer here. The head is from a basic already, which I do, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't think they've captured his, like, big fluffy hair quite perfectly yet. But I do think this is a pretty good head scan. Um, like, it's a, it's another one I'd love to see revisited in the Legends line. And I can see them, like, completely revisiting this, giving us this look, um, and get, giving us this head scan and maybe, like, one new one. Um, with the true effects because that's kind of the thing right now is getting some of those old head scans out and giving them that true effects update I think this one will look great with it um, But I've had this one in my collection for a bit this um, custom and I did want to get it on the channel because I'm Confident that not soon obviously we haven't seen anything but I do think we'll get one in the legends line with this look um, We do have other DDPs obviously we have his like more iconic WCW look with the black tights. We have his um, WWE look that he had with his short hair. Which, that short hair DDP, that short scan is fantastic. If they just could figure out the hair and for the old WCW, his big fluffy mullet, if they could just put that on top of that head scan, I would be perfectly fine with it. But um, more about this, my custom before we get to the comparisons. Um, the rib wrap, I think, is from the Elite 38 Macho Man, where he kind of had, where he had the, like, yellow and red, um, rip tights. I think that was Elite 38. Um, and we've gotten it with a couple showdown packs, and it even might have come with the basic. I don't really remember. I got the basic off eBay. Um, but that was kind of an iconic look with him to have his ribs wrapped. So I wanted to make sure I had that on there. The torso is from an Elite. The legs are from a John Morrison figure. So, or, yeah, John Morrison figure. So I just took off the fur that he normally has around the boots. I painted it light blue, and then I did a wash, um, a dry wash over the figure. So it's kind of hard to tell. So what I did was painted it light blue first, and then I dry brushed. Yeah, I think I, I think at first I said wash. I dry brushed white over it. Um, I have gotten significantly better at dry brushing and putting washes on figures. And you can see the hip uh, scraped a little bit there. So I think I'm going to go back and I'm not going to make major changes to this custom because I'm really happy with it. Um, but I think I'm going to strip down, um, strip the paint redo the the jeans um, clean it up a little bit do a little better dry brush maybe put a wash on it so um, that dry brush pops a little more but 
go back, repaint that um, just to make it a little better since I've gotten better. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it was a really cu easy custom to put together. No head scan painting. Um, I, I just really needed to source the parts from DDP because he has a few elites and, and there it was. Um, as far as the height goes, he might be a tad short, but, um, it's hard, it was kind of hard for me to look just because the hair is big and the, um, his other elites, I'm not positive, like how, how close those are either. Um, here is his WCW Legends figure and I had his, um, a short hair one I can't find. I gotta grab it. Sorry about that. Here we go. I've got his short haired figure. And like I said, this head scan is beautiful. It is so good. And I know this one was a pain in the ass for people to get. Because it was online exclusive to Target, and Target online is absolute trash. But um, I like I love that short hair figure. I think the head scan is phenomenal. The true effects is really good. Um, the so the original WCW Legends DDP has really blonde hair, and they did release an elite with a little bit different tight design. Just had like pink, and I don't. I think the thigh logos might have been a little bit different. Um, I had that elite and my dog ate it. Um, so that's how I ended up with this legends one for pretty cheap. I ended up finding it. So the leftover parts that weren't damaged are what I use for my custom DDP in the middle. And as you can see, like my DDP, as far as height is okay with the, um, short hair DDP, but I personally think that he's kind of short, um, I thought it was odd they used the Shinsuke tights for him. I think those are kind of big, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's a good figure. Um, it's just hard, kind of hard to tell, especially with his big hair. Made him look a little taller anyway. Um, but overall, I think that they all work fine with each other. Um, and like I said, I do think that we're going to get another DDP that has um, jeans. It's just It just seems too easy for them to do. I don't know what kind of design or what kind of mold they would use though. Um, I don't, I, I don't really know what like tight jean mold they would have. I pray to God they wouldn't use like the Usos or something. I think that would look awful. But now I kind of want to try it, saying it out loud and see what it looks like. But DDP needs some like jogger-ish look. I don't really want them to use like shield lower legs in like baggy jeans i think of him as having like jeggings basically just super tight jeans so that's why i i like my cousin i, I really i like i just love it i i think it is perfect um as far as um how it's put together i don't think any of my customs are actually perfect not that narcissistic anyway um that's about all i have for my custom review today remember like share subscribe all that business, I always appreciate that. And also remember that you can't buy happiness, but you can buy action figures. And with that said, the figure dude, out.